Alhamdulillah, over the past few weeks, Abdullah Mu'tez and I have made videos um, analyzing the attribution of Sahih al-Bukhari to Imam al-Bukhari. And we've been able to provide theoretical and practical evidences that the book is, of course, authentically established to the Imam. Now, there are many evidences of this, um, much of which we've covered through our um, videos. Evidences that include the existence of thousands of manuscripts of Sahih al-Bukhari that exist today. All narrations in Sahih al-Bukhari are corroborated. The reliance of scholars since the time of al-Bukhari himself. Cross-examination of different copies which occurred as early as the 4th century. And finally, we have complementary works that were written as early as the time of al-Bukhari. These complementary works include commentaries, mustakharajat, books of atraf, and books of gharaib al-hadith, etc. Now, one thing that was never made clear by Abu Layth is his criteria for the attribution of a book to its author. It's something that he's never made clear. You see, it's very easy to attack, but um, in all honesty, it seems like Abu Layth has his own double standards when it comes to attributing books to their authors. Check out this clip. You know, people say, oh, you say all these things permissible about sexual stuff and everything. And they said, they, you know, they made this big deal about me quoting that uh, the anal sex issue. And I never said that I'm promoting it. I was just quoting the diversity. Who said that I was permissible? Imam Malik. Imam Malik actually said that there's nothing haram about it. In his transmission, people said, oh, the Utbiyah is unreliable. Really? That's why Ibn Rush, the great legend, does a commentary on it in, in 22 volumes today. He, he said it took him 20 to 30 years to do a commentary. Why would you do a commentary on a book that is unacceptable? Now, where is Al Utbiyah? I, I know, I know, I, I got it here somewhere. I, I, give, me a, give me a sec, I, I got it here somewhere. Huh. No, n not here. Uh, I know I, I got it here somewhere. Oh, no. Not So it may come as a surprise to some of you that Al Utbiyah doesn't even exist as a full book. Um, there's uh, 10 pages, I believe, in Tunisia in the form of a manuscript, and it's been recently reprinted by uh, Dada bin Hazm, um, I think in 2007. So, like, we don't even have the book. I mean, the book doesn't really exist. Now, as we can see, Abu Layth attributes uh, Al Utbiyah to Muhammad Al Utbi. And he does this simply because Ibn Rushd wrote a commentary on the book. Now what about all the commentaries for Sahih Bukhari? What about Ibn Battal's uh, commentary? The legend Ibn Battal as you call him, Ya Aba Layth. Um, in any case, if you like this video, um, if you are surprised by Abu Layth's hypocrisy and double standards, there's more to come. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum.